Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, it's uh, that time of year. Everybody is getting into the Christmas spirit, and that includes the high street coffee chains. But there's a catch. A campaign group is criticising the amount of sugar in their seasonal offerings. Action on Sugar say chains are willfully putting their customers' health at risk, despite Public Health England setting sugar reduction targets last year. Our consumer affairs correspondent, Coletta Smith, reports. Christmas shopping is hard work. Everyone needs a break, and customers are after a sugar rush. I guess at Christmas everyone is just looking they don't for don't really it. care, they just want a drink. <laughs> but there's a hidden cost to a Christmas pick-me-up. These coffee chains are the worst offenders all year round, but at Christmas those extra temptations mean that even more sugar is added into the drink. So top of the list is this one from Starbucks, their signature caramel hot chocolate bente with oat milk has 23 teaspoons of sugar in it. Costa's on the list too, their white hot chocolate Massimo has got 10 teaspoons of sugar in it. And all year round, the large mocha from Greg's has got 10 teaspoons as well. But do people here have any idea? So I'd say about like four or five. So if I told you there, was, there are 23, 23. teaspoons. That's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's mad. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's pretty alarming. It's too much, definitely. So they should have a mouth at size and a bit uh, not as sweet. I think you should take it up with actually the companies that are actually doing it, like Greg's and Starbucks, you know, question them on it. That's exactly what the campaign group wants the government to do. Some coffee shops are being really responsible, others are just not doing any action at all. So the government needs to regulate it and bring in, bring these drinks into the soft drinks industry level. Then they will have to reduce the amount of sugar in their drinks. Fizzy drinks are covered by that sugar tax at the moment, but not hot drinks from coffee shops. So would it put customers off if they knew the sugar content? No, oh, I've got a sweet tooth. Now I know that there's that much in there, I don't think I'm going to buy them. Not again. <laughs> With almost all the big names pouring in an extra sprinkling of Christmas sugar, it's hard to avoid. Coletta Smith, BBC News, in Bury.